Hi guys and welcome. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at a new coffee gadget and although it's a new coffee gadget it's just really a variation on a coffee gadget that's been around for some years that being a mocha pot. Uh, in this variation however we've got a small water reservoir a platform which obviously will act as a, a heater for the cups because it will heat up these and two uh, demitasse espresso cups and a double pouring spout and then a little handle which enables you to lift the entire unit up and down. We'll just remove the cups from here and then unscrew the base in exactly the same fashion as you would with a mocha pot and you can see we've got the screen and the rubber seal exactly as you would have on the top portion of a mocha pot. You can see there you've got the little handle which enables you to lift the unit up and move it and then inside the base we have the little basket and funnel for the coffee and then the water reservoir with the over pressure valve so what I'm going to do now this will be its first use I'm going to grind some coffee beans and uh, and we're going to load this up and and boil boil it through and now the first one as you would with any mocha pot on the first use will need to be discarded because that's the one that you use to season the pot and then for subsequent cups you would just brew as normal afterwards after rinsing the unit out so as I say what I'm going to do now is we're going to load this up with some cheap coffee beans which I've gotten for experimenting Getting a rough idea of how many we need by simply filling the basket with beans, like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and grind those. We've got the coffee ground and leveled off in here. It's, uh, it's a little under full. I usually make it up to the level, but I'd say this first one will just be a seasoning one anyway. So pre-boiled water as per my previous mock pot experiment video. If you've seen that one, if not, go go right ahead and uh, have a watch of that one. And that shows you how to get the best flavour out of a mocha pot coffee. So pre-boiled water into the base and then the funnel section. And then we screw on, whoops. There we go. Screw on the top. Do be careful when handling the base after you've done that because of course it will get very hot because of the pre-boiled water. So... I'm going to pop that onto the ring there. Pop the cups underneath it. So at this point it's sat on the heater ring and it's heating up and it's going to take a little while for that water to come to a boil and the pressure to force it up through the spouts and out of the two outlets into the cups. So uh, we're going to cut the video just here and come back in a moment when that's actually starting to heat up enough. As you can see just here, I've got the stove set up on the gas. And you can hear the water's just starting to come to a boil, at which point it will create steam, which will pressurize the water below it, which is slightly cooler, about the ideal temperature for brewing, between 90 and 95 degrees C. It will push the water down, which will then go up the tube, through the coffee, up the spout, and then split into the two pouring spouts for the demitasse cups. I've got a cloth there which is just soaked in cold water so that I can lift the unit off and stand it on there to cool it down so that it doesn't uh, over boil. And as it heats up it's also heating up these plates which helps to pre-warm the cups as well so it's a really quite a nice little design. We can see that the coffee is actually starting to come up through the spouts just now. And strangely seems to be coming out of the left one. More than the right one, which is uh, a bit of a nuisance. Hmm. How odd. I may have got a little bit of a blockage in the right hand spout there, but uh, 
but nonetheless you can see the principle of the thing and see how it works oh there it goes uh, better late than never I guess but uh, that just means we've got a much stronger one on the left and at that point it's actually a little too late because it's starting to splutter but transfer it over to the cloth to cool it down And ideally you want to catch that just before it starts spitting, uh, as per the previous video. So there we go, new little coffee gadget, which is essentially a mocha pot, but designed in such a manner that it will actually make you two cups of uh, espresso in tiny little cups instead of into the pot which you then decant into the cups um, it looks like I need to give this a good rinse through because as you saw there it it puts more fluid into the left cup than the right one which it shouldn't have done but uh, although this would normally just be straight discarded I am going to have a little taste of that just see Mm, that's actually not bad. That's not bad uh, Considering that that's just an initial cup that's that's typically discarded for the Seasoning of the mock pot. So what I'll do now is give that a good rinse through and then that's ready for use for the next time around. So I Hope you found this useful and thank you for watching <laughs>